On the table, it is all about ugly dolls. Ugly squirrels? No, ugly dolls. A large assortment of movie toys to go through. An ugly assortment of toys? No, no, a really nice assortment of ugly toys. A good assortment of toys. Could you please open up, Chef? I'm hungry. All right, squirrels. We're never going to get done here if you keep interrupting me. Is it an ugly interruption? Just, just stop. Let's look at Ugly Dog first. Maybe he'll chase these squirrels off. So we'll start off with the Ugly Dolls feature sounds Ugly Dog. 30 plus sounds and phrases. And I believe Pitbull does the voices of Ugly Dog. On the back of the box, a very playful image of Ugly Dog. Don't keep who you are quiet. Bark it from the rooftops. Let's dance. It's going down. Party! Well, you get the idea. Fun open box design with this one. Let's get Ugly Dog out. And plush ugly dog on the table looking extra cute. How could these possibly be called ugly? We have a very plushy feel to ugly dog. And sometimes he likes to fall over. So 30 plus sounds and phrases. What do we have? Give me a big ugly hug. What you looking at? You've never seen a dog with one eye before. Uh -huh. So a ton of fun Pitbull quotes going on. Just press right below the collar underneath the identification tag thingy. And it kind of keeps going like that. So if you end up loving Ugly Dog from the new movie, this would be a toy to look for. Pretty soft and, again, pretty cute for being an ugly doll. Now we have some Series 1 Ugly Dolls surprises inside packs. One figurine inside, I believe there's 12 to collect. Seems like some nice eco-friendly packaging going on with the paper bag-like substance. Not to be missing the fine print, of course. I'm still trying to figure out if there's codes to these. I'm seeing a variety of different numbers up in the top corner, and another variety of different numbers right here. So they may or may not have some sort of plan going on. Oh look, there's another number, F10. So who knows what we're going to find. So who knows if there's squirrel or reason to these yet. Let's just open up, see what we find. Well, that's adorably cute. This must be our Ugly Dolls Guide to Characters inside. With 12 figures to collect, looks like I have the first one on the list. What do we have for this little booklet? Oh my gosh, it's a mini comic! So this little ugly doll hops into a hot air balloon, flies up into a storm, and gets chilled out. On the other side, flying up by the sun, and then landing on some cactuses, or is that cacti, and then singing a song. That's kind of fun. There's one more item inside here. What have we got in this little tiny, tiny pack? So it looks like a little tiny present, a sticker of some ugly food. Very well done. What do we have in bag number two? Looks like I found Ox who loves literal naming. Ox must be from one eye open and one eye, well, dead. Cute looking rabbit ugly doll-like thing. Do we have a mini comic with him as well, I hope? We do. Looks like Ox is putting his big bunny ears out the window and then causing all sorts of mayhem in Ugly Town. Wow, kind of hard to follow this one. And it just continues and on and on. Some sort of party going on. Probably a huge movie spoiler. What kind of little present do we get over here? It's like a cookie and some cookie cupcake. Ah, just cookies. Ox came in a pack with a J12 on the bottom. It's really hard to tell at this point yet though. And another bag to open. L06. L6. Surprised they're standing so well for being so tiny. Kind of a pinkish purpley strawberry-like ugly doll-like thing. Mini comic. So what do we have here? Two ugly dolls thinking through something. They are thinking of a hat. A tire, flags, something to eat, mittens, a bird flying by. 
Over here they think of all those items, and then they go run over to this artist who paints those items onto this ugly doll right there. Nothing beats the mini comic, right? And our last little gift is a sticker of a can of tuna fish. Well, that turned out pretty interesting. Found three ugly dolls figurines to go through. Good size with these clever designs, and they stand pretty well for tiny feet. Let's move on over to the uglier, bigger things. If you're looking for something a little more lively and costumed for ugly dolls, these larger scaled figures must be something to look for. Interesting packaging design, almost like a toilet paper roll. There are six to collect so far, with three surprises inside. So let's go right to Big Gray Squirrel's choice with Savvy Chef Wage. Did I get that name right? Savvy Chef Wage? I guess we'll find out when the movie comes out. Well, let's figure out how to open these. They look kind of complicated. Surprisingly, the package is not as hard to open as I thought. Just remove outer layer and these two shells just open right up, but never do so again. Well, maybe. Savvy Chef out, and the figurine is a little more than just solid plastic. We have a removable chef hat, and it looks like the legs down here, you can kind of position a little bit, so you can kind of have him hunched over just a little bit maybe, or just kind of have those legs move around. Soft plastic on that. Was not expecting that. The chef hat does kind of unbalance him a little bit though. It's kind of a big, big hat. Almost thought those arms would move, but they're just kind of a real rubbery, soft plastic. So there's several things going on. So let's see if we could find our three surprises. Let's go right to these packages. Pack one. We have found a very nice rubbery chef jacket. Nice. Can he wear it? I think he can. I did not expect this. There we go, soft and rubbery. Takes a little squirreling to get it on, but it works really well. Very nice surprise. What's the other one? We have a heart cookie. Don't think we could really have him hold on to it very well, though. This hand may be better than the other. Ah, there we go, we got it. And the hat. Well, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this one. And I think we have a third surprise in here. A sheet of more stickers. Looks like there'll be no shortage of stickers with these ugly dolls. Also inside the tube, a guide of other figures available in this first collection. Well, let's see a few more of these. I like how this one turned out. All right, let's check on Cool Dude Ox. Let's open another Ox. I like Ox. And Ox out of the box. Ox with a very cool hat that says Ox on it. It's like he could see right through his hat. Hat, of course, is removable. There we go, now you can see him a little better. His hand is almost reaching out like it would hold something, so I'm excited to see what the surprises are. An Ox shirt, jacket, an Ox jacket. Looking even cooler. An Ox fruit smoothie. So indeed something to hold on to. Ox's feet are working a little better too than Chef's. These are rotating around like almost on a ball joint like thing, which really gives them good mobility for a small figure. And I think there's one more item, probably more stickers. Looks like a cute envelope mailer. There they go. Oh, I like his sunglasses there. One X and one O. Very funny, some french fries, a magnet, and a slingshot. These are turning out to be really fun. Let's check on our lead character of the movie. So it is Moxie Fancy Fairy Moxie in this one. Let's open up. And Moxie on the table. These are just the right figurine size. You really can interact with a lot of different toys at this scale. Moxie has a little unicorn hat piece. There we go, what do we have for surprises? This must be another sheet of stickers. So it looks like we have our fancy fairy wear. She has quite the style. I can't tell if I have those wings on upside down or not. Stickers included, we have a paintbrush with can, a heart, and crayons drawing a heart card. Very nice figure this is. I like the dress up thing they've got going with them. Let's look on with Super Lucky Bat. 
Well, I think I've found my favorite of the collection so far. Super Lucky Bat. A bat wearing a bat suit. You can't get any better than that, really. I always like the bright red ugly dolls. Super Lucky Bat, very red. There he is without the cape and cowl. Well, what do we have for surprises? Looks like a small party horn. And or megaphone. And his own little figurine to carry around. Doesn't really stand though. Honestly, with this one, you really don't need the extra accessories. Wonder how he's even gonna hold on to this one. Oh, he can do it. Let's get that cowl back on. Yeah, easily my favorite still. For stickers, we have a clock, some glasses, and some bat-like things. I suppose if you're talented, you could probably place stickers onto these figures. Wow, I like this one. Oh! Next up, Mermaid Maiden Tray. Mermaid Maiden Tray out of the tube with some very heavy mermaid hair. I don't know if they got the purple right. Not as deep as what you see on the package. As for surprises, well, obviously we are going to see a mermaid tail. I think we all thought that. And I think we are also thinking glasses, too. Well, that's not bad. Probably pretty much impossible to stand with the mermaid tail on. That's quite the costume. I think I just like this one at regular ugly doll status. Really hard to stand this one, by the way. It's toppling over very too easy. Sticker envelope. And we have stickers of science, a magnifying glass, and then ice cream and sweets. And our last ugly dolls figure, Pancake Champ Jiro. This last one might be just as cool as Super Lucky Bat. Just look at that golden pancake cape. That is awesome. Look at the champ's eyes going through the cape as well. Kind of luchador-like. What do we have for accessories? A belt. And a trophy! We have the golden pancake belt! And the trophy of Pancake-atopia! This is certainly giving Super Lucky Bat a run for the money. What does it look like under the cape? There we go. Hard to see the champion underneath. Let's place that belt on. The belt is going to be a little tight on that back, so I did not button it. This one is truly a fun one to look for. Let's get that cape back on. How awesome you win that trophy for sure. Stickers. We have a mask and of course, pancakes and syrup and eggs. What a finish to these guys. All together now the group of six we saw. I did not think the surprises inside would be extra costume additions to them. Turns out to be a very lively group of ugly doll figures. The series one ugly dolls figures were also fun to look at. Oh hey, we have one more. A bright red one with a knob on its head. And another mini comic. What is going on here? I could hardly tell. And of course more stickers. So these ugly dolls have been terrific fun. Oh, and ugly dog too. Ugly dog has been great too. Ugly Dolls assortment of toys from Hasbro arrive on store shelves April 2019. Series 1 mystery surprise figurines run about $2.99 a bag. The dress up Ugly Doll cylinders run about $6.99. I think Ugly Dog ran about $20. And a variety of other Ugly Doll plush characters available. If you're a big fan of Ugly Dolls and are awaiting the Ugly Dolls movie for 2019, this collection will get you going. Vividly colorful and a lot of fun to play with. That's what I have to say about that. Ugly Squirrels seems like a good idea for a sequel. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.